Jesus.net is celebrating a major benchmark, 10 million decisions for Christ through the Knowing God websites. But where did it all start? 10 years ago, Eric Salarier and David Nolan of the French team Top Chrétien were working on a new evangelism website called Knowing God. In 2001, in a time of prayer, God gave me an idea to create a step-by-step -step presentation of the gospel finishing by a prayer. But it's just in 2005 that we took this step-by-step -step presentation and made a standalone website called Connaître Dieu. And we were amazed to see dozens of thousands of visits every day and thousands of people saying, I want to come to Christ. Wow. The Knowing God website would soon be available in 31 versions around the world, a development that David Nolan says they never saw coming. I was very surprised to see our Dutch friends requesting a copy of Knowing God in Dutch. But I was very, very surprised to see a Chinese director from a big ministry in China coming to France and saying, we want a Chinese version too. Had no plans at all to have other languages than French but the Lord had other plans. Today, the site has been developed in many languages, such as Arabic, Polish, Japanese, and Hindi. While Eric and David were developing Knowing God, two men in the Netherlands were developing a site they called Why Jesus. Why Jesus is an online version of the Alpha Course, and it uses e-coaches. The men behind Why Jesus are Arjo de Vroom and Jan Willem Boosman. We were also in the Netherlands, astonished to see a request to create Why Jesus in other languages. And one day, I met Eric at a conference in Berlin. It became obvious to both of us that we should cooperate together and connect both Knowing God and Why Jesus whenever languages were matching. Soon, Eric, David, Jan Willem and Arjo found themselves traveling together to various countries to develop both websites in the same languages. Yes, both websites launched together made sense to all of us because a logical process appeared when people got saved through knowing God and then were discipled through Why Jesus. One of the early adopters of the new online strategy was the Polish ministry CCM. Henry Kroll is the ministry's executive leader. In 2007, during a short visit to England, for the first time I saw Google Earth Map stopping, showing a place where people were accepting Jesus. It really revolutionized my life. I knew right there at the spot that we must bring this whole program to Poland and to use it in our conditions. I went immediately to France, we talked with some friends there, and that's how our adventure with JesusNet started. Since then, more than 400,000 people have indicated a decision for Christ through the Polish version of the Knowing God website. And 40% of those who begin the discipleship course offered by the Polish version of Why Jesus go on to finish it. The number of Knowing God and Why Jesus websites eventually grew to the point where a new name was needed in order to invite new partners. One of those new partners would be Campus for Christus Switzerland or Campus Crusade for Christ Switzerland. Matthias is part of the Swiss national leadership team. I still remember when Eric, Jan Willem and some others and me were sitting together at a conference in Paris in a fish restaurant and discussing about the opportunities we see worldwide. And then we said it would be so good to have a global brand, a network uniting all different organizations together. And um, we as Switzerland said, yes, we want to be part and commit ourselves to this cause. As they prayed about a new name, they decided on Jesus.net. And as they prayed about funding, they found the money to buy the Jesus.net URL from a Christian businessman in the United States. It was at about that time that the Billy Graham Evangelistic Association joined with the ministry. The BGEA's Vice President for TV and Internet, Dwayne Gaylord, says it's been exciting to watch how God has used the partnership with Jesus.net. It became clear to me, in order for the Billy Graham Evangelistic Association to start an effective online ministry, we had to look for someone, a partner, who had a like heart for ministry and who had experience in online gospel ministry. Well, that led us to Jesus.net. 
It's been a blessing since we've met Jesus.net. Since then, we've seen over 5 million decisions for Jesus Christ come online. And every day, we see more and more people coming to Christ online from all over the world. After the name Jesus.net was chosen, there was a lot else to get done and get done quickly. A team was formed to develop the new website, a foundation was created in the Netherlands, and a long-term plan was written. The Jesus.net vision and strategy was summarized by a dream statement that Jan Willem quotes. Imagine a world with every single person having free access to the gospel, knowing God, growing in Jesus, and sharing their faith easily. That dream was made possible through a four-step strategic process. Access, know, grow, and share. Jesus.net Operations Director Fokker Koistra explains. Access. First, we want to help people get access to the gospel. We do this through websites, landing pages, and stories of changed lives. No, after the access phase, people are invited to repent from their sins and put their trust fully in God. Grow. Jesus never commanded us to make believers, but to make disciples. So, in the grow phase, we introduce people to tools to help them to grow in their newfound faith. The share phase. A lot of Christians want to share their faith, but they don't know how. So, in the share phase, we introduce them to tools to help them share their faith online. One of the objectives of Jesus.net is to stimulate the creative potential of its partners. Simon Lawful of Campus Crusade for Christ Switzerland explains how they took part in that challenge. As a Swiss team, we developed MyStory.me. It's an online platform where every Christian can upload his own story with Jesus as video or as text. You can order your personalized MyStory.me cards and share it with your friends. Now this tool is given to the whole Jesus.net network for free. Another example is the cooperation between the Polish, Dutch, and French teams to develop an international discipleship platform called Codex. Jesus.net is now working with more than 50 organizations in over 30 languages. Would you like to help make the dream continue to come true? There are three ways you can. Join the movement, donate, and pray.